Well, hello everyone. Yes, this is Sandy Ballard, your host of the Monday Motivation Podcast, the weekly podcast, number 84. And it's called No More Excuses. Thanks for being here. Appreciate you. Appreciate you being here. Connected. Uh, if you have not, please connect with me on Instagram, Taskmaster Sandy with an I, where you can see me lovingly upload picture of my kitty that's in a cone. She got in a cone last week, so she's not real happy. So we, we were laughing that she's a cone head for Halloween. <laughs> um, LinkedIn, connect with me there. Twitter, SL Ballard13. And yes, my Facebook business page, Growing Forward. So, uh, perceptions can suck, right? Last week was really about, you know, getting through them, especially if you if you want to do something, you know, and how perceptions are keeping you from speaking up and, and, and admitting things and doing things. And last week I referred to my class reunion and why perhaps some people had not come until recently till this this one or still haven't you know I've spoken I have two of my longtime friends my longest friends who are like you know I'm not going it's like okay you know it's the perception so I spoke um, recently also at Heron School of Art my alumni um, the perception of going to art school going to be that you're going to be broke a starving artist um, you know my clients who won't speak up, um, you know, their staff won't speak up because of perception that their opinion won't matter. Um, at a women's event, I heard people talking about perception not being taken seriously. You know, me, especially having a background in art and, you know, with a dual degree in math, but, you know, that doesn't show in the diploma, right? But I have an art degree. And I'm in a different. I'm a business coach. How did that happen? So there's all those perceptions, those things that go on that can keep you from doing things. You know, how did I become um, that first or that art or bleh, <laughs> business coach after going to art school? And you know, how am I working through those perceptions? You know, when you allow the perceptions to control what you do or say, or don't do or say, you know. What are you going to do? What about your life and your career goals? Especially when most of the time, those perceptions are bullshit. It's just your fear. Your perception of what someone else will say, think, do, how they will react, right? So there's not a whole lot, you know, you can do except just doing it. You know, so many times the perceptions aren't real. You know, there's negative perceptions, there's real perceptions, but... That's, you have to decide, you know, then it's okay. Someone thinks I'm not capable of coaching because I went to art school. Then that's their opinion, you know, then that's probably not a good client for me is they didn't research to what I've done in my past since 1991. And, you know, the, the types of things that I've done with running multiple businesses myself, you know, these days it's pretty easy to find out about someone. You know, we've all changed since high school. We've changed jobs, weight, looks, color of hair, you know, all that stuff. You know, if you're if, if your quote unquote old friends don't like you anymore because of their perception or, or how you've changed and that's just their judgmental asses. You know, and this it goes along with business. I mean our perceptions are controlling our lives which affects our business and our career, you know. And if you think you won't uh, get what you want, or you 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 won't get the job because you think there's a perception of of their perception of you is negative, you know, then why did you apply in the first place? Um, you know, if you think you can't do it um, because you're not qualified, then why are you going for it in the first place? If you think you want a certain client, um, you know, or and all of a sudden you're like, oh, maybe you didn't get it and your perception is because you weren't qualified or, or you aren't good enough or creative enough, then why did you try and pursue that client 
in the first place, right? So if you had the guts to apply, to go after, to do something, you know, originally in the first place, what changed? Fear builds up, kills confidence. You know, you start second guessing yourself, thinking too much, especially after you maybe talk with somebody and say, hey, I, I'm going to meet with blah, 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 or I applied for this job, or I put in for this, you know, RFP uh, request for proposal for, uh, you know, or a contest for a certain project, you know, and then someone poo-poos it. Well, you know, that's their own tr head trash. That's their own perception. You know, you've got to get out of your own head sometimes. And also sometimes you have to, when you're talking to someone, I've gotten opinions back from people, and I'm like, hmm, I'm not sure I agree with them. Well, that's my right, right? So, you know, what do you do about it? Well, yeah, make a list. Yes, another damn list. But more than just what you, you sent previously or didn't. You know, last time, last week I had you make a list of things you hadn't done, said, or admitted because of your perceptions. But um, make the list. Think bigger. Think deeper. Maybe put five or ten things on the list and next to it write why. And this is personally or professionally. Again, they affect each other. Look at why. What? Why do you have that perception? Okay. Maybe, um, oh, well, again, just look at the, the why behind it. And it's because of something, a comment or thing like that. Look at what the common theme is. And what can you do to change their perception? You know, it's, you, you went and you talked to somebody, um, or your perception is that person doesn't like you. Or that perception is you're not, your perception is you're not um, smart enough for the job, Right. Well, is there someone you can talk with about that? Because sometimes someone's just having a bad day. Sometimes they didn't think that at all. Maybe that person's just got resting bitch face. <laughs> you know, you can also talk to somebody, um, say it's a, an event you don't want to go to because you think it's just going to be all a certain type of people or you're not going to get any business from it. Well, Take a friend and or a colleague and go with them. Have them go with you. And maybe it's not so bad because you have a little, you know, backup. You know, write down what you need, what you need to talk about. Maybe you need to send an email to someone. So um, put it all in an email and think about it. You know, find out the why behind that perception. And, you know, I just did this with a client of mine, with some of their staff. And yeah, I provide a neutral, kind of a safe platform to share thoughts for business partners, many, uh, many times family. And they just uh, get their personal feelings out of the way and you know, their perceptions that someone's not doing what they are supposed to be doing. Well, I just had a client tell me that they found out that one of their staff, that they're thinking about maybe moving up into a partnership at some point, is taking care of things that she never knew he was taking care of. Well, he didn't want to come to her and say, hey, look at what I'm doing. But he, in a sense, he should have. And now she's looking at him differently because he is going and taking care of things without bothering her about it. So the perception that she had that he wasn't stepping up was false. So this week, yes, make that list. Include the why. And then what you can do to change or get rid of that perception. You know, the fears, all that crap that's keeping you from achieving your success. Okay? So you got three columns. One column is the perception. One column is why you think that. And the third column is a way that you can change that perception. All right? Email me, sballard at growingforward.biz, uh, or post here in the comment section. Uh, let's start changing your perceptions, getting you out of your comfort zone, getting you to the next level, helping you build your confidence back up. And if you need help, let's meet now, especially if you have business partners. I can help. Have a great week. Cheers.